Hello ladies, it's Menopause Taylor. Did you notice? I'm in the kitchen again. <laughs> if you watched video 85, I'm sure you hoped I'd stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> I told you I'm not good in the kitchen and in that video, I proved it. <laughs> but you know, I kind of liked having an apron bearing my logo. You know how I am about clothes. So I decided to get another apron and head back into the kitchen for another video. And the kitchen is the best place to demonstrate what I'm teaching you today. I promise I won't make being in the kitchen a habit. You know, I've lived 59 years avoiding kitchens and I'm not going to become fond of them now. <laughs> Okay, so in the last tutorial, we talked about the starting point for estrogen replacement. And we likened it to the beginning of a race. Today, we're going to address the finish line. Now, you know that I made cookie batter back in tutorial 85. We made oatmeal raisin cookies. And I've taken another stab at it. And today, we're going to actually bake the cookies. So here's our cookbook and the recipe says to bake for 8 to 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, and then it says the longer you bake them, the crispier they will be. So the outcome of these cookies depends on how long I bake them. Ooh, do you think the same goes for the outcome of your estrogen replacement therapy? If you take estrogen for lo a longer time, will it change your health status as much as baking these cookies for a longer time changes their crispiness? Do you think it matters? That's what we'll answer in this tutorial. We'll talk about when to stop taking estrogen replacement therapy. And as usual, we're going to work our way to the answer. Let's go ahead and pop these in the oven. And since baking time matters, let's put three sheets of cookies in and bake them for different periods of time just to see what happens. So. Second and third sheets. Okay, let those babies bake. You know how you set a timer when you bake? If I set a timer for these cookies, I'd set it for eight to 10 minutes. And when you set a timer, it starts ticking, right? And it ticks until time is up. Last week, you learned that your estrogen window of opportunity dictates that you have five to ten years to get started taking estrogen. So the timer for starting estrogen replacement is five to ten years from the time you haven't had estrogen on board. But what about the timer for stopping estrogen replacement? Is there a time limit? Is there a finish line? Does the timer for estrogen replacement ever get to zero? And if it does, should you automatically stop taking estrogen because the timer has ticked itself down to zero? What we're really talking about is the duration of estrogen replacement therapy. How long should you take the stuff? I mean, do you think there's a time that's too long or a time that's too short? And if you start it, when do you stop it? What happens when you stop it? This stuff is important. I cannot tell you how many women have nary a clue about these things. Worse, I can't tell you how many doctors don't either. I give you these tutorials so that you'll know everything, even if your doctor doesn't. Many tutorials ago, I taught you that all doctors are not created equal when it comes to knowledge about menopause. You learned that we only get an hour of education on menopause in medical school. And only the gynecologists get more than that. So very few doctors study menopause in depth. So it's a largely neglected area of medicine. 
That's why I've created all these resources for you. Take advantage of them. If you learn this stuff here, you can assess your doctor's level of knowledge and you can work better with your doctor to get what you want. So, when it comes to our oatmeal raisin cookies, fewer than eight minutes is not enough. The cookies will not be done. They won't be cookies. So let's take one cookie sheet out now and see what they look like. It's only been two minutes. Whew. Hmm. These cookies are underbaked. They didn't turn out so well. They are looking really gooey. Gosh. Ooh. They're almost more like cookie dough. They don't even feel like cookies. So, do you think it does any good at all to take estrogen for just a short time? I mean, is estrogen therapy like cookie baking? Is estrogen for a short time better than no time at all? The answer is yes. If you think back to the previous tutorial, I taught you that the critical time to start taking estrogen is those first five to 10 years of not having estrogen. That's the time when it's not too late to start. So even if you don't plan to take estrogen for a long time, taking it for even a few years is beneficial. These cookies are underbaked. They're not as good as fully baked cookies, but that doesn't mean they're worthless. I mean, heck, I kind of like <laughs> gooey, <laughs> soft, half-baked cookies. I confess I even like cookie dough. I mean, haven't you ever eaten cookie dough just for the fun of eating the dough? <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next time frame for estrogen therapy. If there were a recipe for estrogen therapy, what time frame do you think it would designate? Do you think the general recommendation would be to take estrogen for five years? Or perhaps 10 years? Or even forever? Remember, you're gonna spend about one third to one half of your life in your postmenopausal state. That's going to be 30 to 50 years. How much of that time do you think a recipe for estrogen therapy would cover? A tenth of it? Half of it? All of it? It's an interesting question, don't you think? Ideally, you want to think about this before your estrogen window closes. That way you'll still have all your options available to you. Let's see. With these cookies, eight to 10 minutes is the total time you should bake them. So the time frame for baking these cookies is very specific. You don't have to guess. You just have to follow the recipe. Right now though, we're right at the nine minute mark. So it's time to remove the second batch of cookies. Ooh, these are perfect. These look like cookies. And why are they perfect? They're perfect because I baked them just the right amount of time. I followed the recipe to a T. Shorter than eight minutes would have been too short. Longer than 10 minutes would have been too long. So. Is there a specific time frame for how long you should take estrogen replacement? The answer is no. That's where duration of estrogen replacement therapy differs from duration of cookie baking. We don't have an absolute rule for estrogen. There's no specific duration for estrogen therapy. How long you take estrogen replacement therapy for menopause is an individual matter for each woman to decide with her doctor.
Okay, so in that last tutorial, I taught you that five to 10 years of estrogen window refers to the time frame during which you should start estrogen replacement. It does not refer to how long you should take estrogen. Remember the quiz question last week about what the five to 10 years means? You learned that five to 10 years is how long you have to start taking estrogen. It does not refer to how long you should take it. But you saw that different people interpret that five to 10 years differently. So I'm warning you, you will find medical professionals who interpret the five to 10 years as a time limit on how long you can take estrogen. And you need to know that that's not the correct interpretation. One of my viewers told me that her doctor wants her to quit taking estrogen after five years, but she loves her estrogen. She asked, why do I have to stop taking it? So regardless of how little someone else may know about this stuff, I want you to know the facts. You're free to do whatever you want, so I want you to know the facts. That five to 10 years has nothing to do with how long you can take estrogen. It is not a time limit. It is the time during which you should start taking estrogen if you wanna take it to, for purposes of preventing heart attack, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's. It doesn't mean you can't take estrogen longer than five to 10 years. Because you're used to following time frames and recipes, your natural tendency is to think of those five to 10 years as a limit. Please don't equate your estrogen therapy duration to oatmeal cookie baking duration. They are not the same. <laughs> the estrogen window is the window during which you can begin taking estrogen to gain the benefits. It's not when the window closes on how long you should take estrogen. So it doesn't mean that you have to stop taking it when you're 10 years into your postmenopause. It's only about the start time. That's it. It has nothing at all to do with the stopping time. Remember, the whole idea behind the estrogen window is that your body loves estrogen. And the longer your body has estrogen, the happier your body is. Your estrogen window is the five to 10 years after your body stops producing estrogen when it's still in love with it and it wants it back and it can handle it without risk. But after 10 years without estrogen, your body has aged so much that it may not be able to handle estrogen anymore. Not because it doesn't still love it, but because it's too old to take that chance. Ooh, I left that third sheet of cookies in too long. Ooh, I, I, I've got to take them out. Okay, well, I burned them. They're all black around the edges. Well, okay, so that's what happens when you leave cookies in too long. Ooh, do you think that estrogen works like that? If you take estrogen for a really long time, does it ruin you? You know, a lot of women believe that it does. But that belief is based on misconception and fear. Remember, Estrogen has always been your friend. It's losing it, that's the problem. So fortunately, taking estrogen replacement therapy for an extended period of time doesn't turn out like these burned cookies. <laughs> there isn't an absolute time limit. Unlike these cookies, you can continue to take estrogen well past the 10 year mark if you're healthy enough to do so. So the duration of estrogen therapy is going to differ for every single woman. So of course, that brings us to the next question. How do you determine how long you should take estrogen replacement therapy for menopause? I mean, what are the factors each woman needs to take into account in order to decide? And that's the topic for our next video. The bottom line message in this video is that there isn't a specific limit on the duration for taking estrogen. Every woman's situation is different. So tune in next week when I'll give you some different scenarios and help you assess how long you should take estrogen replacement therapy for your menopause. 
Are you shocked at how there's so much more to this than you ever imagined? <laughs> you see, you get to choose. It's like choosing between these cookies. You know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one do I want? The gooey one, the perfect one, or the burnt one? You get a choice. Aren't you glad that you can do things your way? Okay, that's it. I'm leaving the kitchen and I'll see you in a week. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you in a week. Bye.